Mom, do you think there's something wrong with me? I, it seems as though I don't, I'm not getting as many jobs as I used to get last year for babysitting and like last year I was booked every weekend and now I can only get like maximum two jobs a month. Can I upset anyone? No, no, I'm sure it's not you. It's probably just a recession. What's a recession? A recession is a slowdown in the economy. It's when businesses lay off employees, then those employees don't have enough money to go out and spend. Mr. Harper's real estate company was doing amazing last year, but his wife told me that the last three months, he's not sold a single house. You used to okay. do a lot of babysitting for them. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they probably can't afford to uh, go out as much this year. Oh. Hey, Karen. Hi, Joan. A bunch of us are going to go to the Factors of Production concert. Do you want to go? It's next month. Factors of Production? Yeah. <laughs> How much does it cost? Well, we want to get really good seats, so it's going to be about $100. $100? I can't afford that. My babysitting job is not going so well, and I even tried to get a job at the mall, and they weren't hiring. So, I don't know. What do you need to know by? Um, probably today or tomorrow. I know the concert will sell out. After all, it's factors of production. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to turn you down. I don't have that kind of money. Well, that's too bad. I hope your babysitting ser service picks up. I'm gonna go call Molly and see if she'll go with me. Okay, uh, thanks for inviting me. See ya. Hey, Karen. Hey, Joan. Uh, I heard that Northbrook High is having a dance this Friday. Do you want to go? Tom and I will be there, and I know that George will want to go with you. Yeah, I could wear my new outfit. What night is it? Friday. No way. I have to babysit for the Harpers on Friday. <sighs> Again, it seems that every time something fun comes up, you have to babysit. I know. Six months ago, I had no work, and now I'm swamped with work. Last weekend, I had five jobs. Mom says the recession is over and now the economy is picking up and I know that Mr. Harper's real estate business is doing a lot better. And so now I have no time to do what I want to do, but I have the money, whereas before I had no money, but I had time. So is there maybe like a weekend, four months from now that we could set aside and do something together? Yeah, okay. See you later. Bye, Karen. Bye. Joan's business was directly affected by a business cycle. All economies experience periods of prosperity and periods of decline, or business cycles. Here we see a graph of a business cycle. Joan was frustrated because she was not getting the same amount of work she had the prior year. The economy was in a recession. A recession is a period of economic decline where an economy's total production actually decreases. It appears on the graph as this downward sloping area of the business cycle curve. Joan's business fell because Mr. Harper's business fell. Mr. Harper's business was less because his potential clients were also impacted by a lower income. Eventually, a trough is reached where the recession ends and an expansion begins. At this point, manufacturers begin to produce more, sales begin to increase, and incomes increase as follow. This is a period of an expansion and is illustrated by this upward slope on our graph. Eventually, the expansion ends and we reach a peak where an expanding economy slows down and then enters into another recession. In time, the cycle will repeat itself. Business cycles vary in length, the time period between here. They vary in amplitude in terms of where the peaks are. And finally, they're also very, very hard to predict. Economic and political policies are debated on how different policies affect business cycles. To learn more about this lesson and other important economic concepts, please visit our website at higherrockeducation.com. Thank you.